What's up guys? Ice Boy here. So first off, I'd like to thank Bruce H. I woke up this morning and I got the email that you donated $5 to Little Ice Man. Thank you, sir, for your contributions. Y'all know I'm going to be buying some nice, shiny shackles with that. Links in the description below if you want to support the Ice Toad. So Bruce, may your finances be blessed and may you have many wives. So in this video, I'm going to showcase a character I was actually live streaming with just a couple days ago. So check out that video if you haven't yet. It seems to be damn near immortal, as long as you don't run into an enemy that has mana drain. And this is Cray Cray. I believe Lip from Discord hooked me up with this character, sent me a file, so it's hero edited. But uh, I wanted to showcase it in a video. She wields infinity, Griffins, this and that, godly amulet, nice boots, Arak, uh, Skid of the Viper Meiji with a uh, facet in it, this, and I actually put on Frostburns. The more mana, the better. And here's all her things, these little things. The mercenary then has insight. Now this allows you to have both meditation and conviction aura on your sorceress. And it's best, of course, to wield the infinity yourself, so you want to make it in kind of a usable base. Uh, because then you can take advantage of the negative 50 to 55% enemy lightning resistance that it applies to that who is wearing or wielding the infinity. So it applies to your sorcerer, so you have a ton of lightning pierce with this vamin. Vamp gaze and nothing in it, style points. Chains of Honor, hey oh yeah. And as mentioned, Insight. Here are her skills, just real quick like. It's Nova Sorceress, maxed out Nova. Uh, maxed out its one synergy static field and maxed out Lightning Mastery. Ended up putting Few into Thunderstorm. I think you get your energy shield to level 17 at its base. I think, and then uh, you put one into Warmth. <coughs> so on the pre-buff, I just have CTA and a staff that gives energy shield and chilling armor and things like that. So anyway, wanted to show you guys what this build can do. So I pre-buff and I switch back over and cast Thunderstorm. Now this is only players one, so keep that in mind. Uh, as you can see, just obliterated those enemies. Uh, let's go kill Shank and the other guy. Now, if you are running players 8, I recommend skipping Thunderstorm entirely and just putting all those points into warmth. Because you want to regen the more mana, the better. Right? But check out her mana pool. It's 41 hundo. And just look how godly this is. Yeah, pretty cray cray. Look at static. Check out the radius. But look at she's getting hit. You see you see all the damage she just she doesn't even take damage, dog. It's absolute told. Hey yeah. Alright, let me go to the cast sanctuary. Yeah, really, your only bane is mana drain enemies. Because here's the thing, when you have mana shield equipped on or activated and this one lasts 984 seconds it's important to note it ignores your resistances all right so it doesn't matter what your resistances are except for poison poison goes through the energy shield and so does open wounds um, I don't think there are any enemies in the game that give open wounds is that right so unless you're dueling, I think you should be okay. Are there any enemies that get open once? Pretty sure there aren't. So basically, yeah, you need to max out your poison raz. And uh, just get a ton of mana. Frost burns. Here's her. Check it out. At 105 breakpoint. Of course, lightning and chain lightning themselves are at 117, but we're not using those. We're just using Nova. It's a different kind of light sword. But I mean, look at this. See, here's here's the elemental damage. 
Look at that. Her life's like not even moving. And the mana regens so fast. That's what's epic about this. It's basically your life is the mana. This is kind of a backup plan right here. And look at you have 750% mana regen. Or as you might want to consider it, uh, basically life regen with this build. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> The only issue, dog, is when you run into uh, mana drain monsters. So y'all gotta be cautious of that. Now, can this Femin do player Z? Let's find out in just a minute here. Now, I'm just taking it easy. I'm not. I'm not going hard here or anything. Uh, in player Z, you want to use static a little bit more. Thunderstorm is kind of ass. Let's see what it does. Here's a lightning immune. Did it kill it? I couldn't tell if it killed it. Okay, let's keep away. Keep away. There are some enemies that'll kill on occasion in one hit, especially when your uh, mercenary's conviction is applied to them. Like I noticed the imps in the Frigid Highlands. For example, those annoying things that uh, shoot fireballs. I killed a couple uh, with one hit in a row of Thunderstorm, so it was quite gratifying. Hey, yeah, I spoil pro. Look at this pro gameplay. You you know you're a pro if you use telekinesis to open this shit up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But, like... This is, uh... This character... Is really epic, I think. And... I don't see why this wouldn't be one that you'd want to invest all your currency into. Like, for the latter reset. Now, especially if you're on botnet, because if you're on botnet, generally, your, uh, you know, your, your, your magic finding in one to two to three player games. And this character really excels in that. Uh, if you're on pluggy or something, and you're always doing players eight, maybe this isn't so much the way to go, but I'll show you guys how well she does players eight. A couple of teleport right into the middle of them. Don't even give a cold. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let me know what you guys think about this char. Uh, pit for hell. She's great at the pit in hell. What else? She great. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. So. I have Players 8 set just now. See this? Players 8. I'm going to go to the Bridget Highlands. Take a look-see. Take a look-see, look-see here. There you have it. Oh my god! Look how quickly she kills them. <clears throat> Players 8, dog. Hell yeah. Look at the static. Holy... Toad. Holy toad. Do you guys see that? The range on static? Let's take a look. 28. 28 yards. Yeah, it's nice with this uh, build that you, uh, you basically have to max static. And static is always nice, one point wonder, but when it has so much range like this, like you can stay, look it up. It goes across the damn screen. Holy shit. Here's these little guys. See, the thunderstorm kills them. See that? Almost every time. And look at the damage. Has very high minimum damage. And so does Nova. It's not like lightning or chain lightning when uh, sometimes you can't even kill them in one hit. A super low HP enemy because of the fact that, like, they just have really low minimum damage even when you max them out. So that's one of the nice things about Nova, is it has a, a, a pretty tight damage range. You see that? All right, so players eight. Let's take a look-see now. Let's go to, uh, I'm gonna skip some of the trash. Uh, and just go straight to the seals. Not the fastest teleporter, of course. Uh, you're at the 105 breakpoint. I mean, that's just the sacrifice you have to make when when you're using infinity on your 
the main hand taking up both slots because you know, it doesn't have any FCR whatsoever. So there's really no way around it. You gotta just have, you basically gotta just have the 105. I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't settle for less. But yeah, 105 kind of sucks. What the hell, did I kill him already? Holy toad, I already killed him. All right, here we go. But look at this, man. Oh, oh, mana drain. Look at, oh, mana burn, see? That was it, dog. It wasn't because of Ice Boy's uh, lack of skill. We all know that that ain't much of a thing, but the mana burn wiped that ass out big time. All right, so I'm going to go back. Well, I'm not going to go back. I got to make a new fucking game, so I'll be right back. So basically, uh, the reason I got murdered there is because I teleported right into him. This guy sometimes has mana burn. Teleported right into him. Just kind of trying to show off uh, how durable it was without checking if the uh, the boss was uh, had the mana burn capability. But hell yeah. So basically, I mean, to be a bit more strategic, you just want to stay away from the boss a little bit. You know, stay... You know, try to keep him at the edge of your Nova, basically. But alright. So, player's hit again. You go back over here. And this character can do Bell quite well. Uh, pit, you're, you're, brick, you're nearly invisible, man. In the pit and shit. Your mercenary does decent damage. Let's see his damage. 2,900. Uh, ethereal Insight Thresher. But yeah, of course, maybe there are uh, characters who kill faster than this on Player's 8. Well, for example, a Javazon probably even kills faster. But when you're factoring everything in, like obviously this character can teleport around a lot faster, has, has much better mobility than your basic Javazon. Hell yeah. I mean, really, I rarely use pots, especially, like, especially on Player's 1. Some static. Oh, he has a mana burn. Now he's dead. Hell yeah. Not bad. Oh my god. No, it's okay. Let's see how well she can murder Satan on Player's 8. Yeah, Nova's quite toad. Uh, I'm glad that they uh, did what they did with it. Uh, yeah, to my understanding, it didn't even have a synergy before, is that right? It didn't have uh, the static field synergy. Nice damage roll. Absolute toad. Alright, so... I mean, yeah, it, it is impressive, I think, to uh, be able to do bell run with a player's that character. But yeah, maybe a hammer den be a little bit more durable and shit just overall. Because you don't, you're not worrying about the, uh, the mana burns as much. Uh, not much at all, in fact. To my understanding, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a hammer den. I've had Aberdeen like once or twice, and this was way back in the day. Uh, one of the times I didn't even have an Enigma, so. Didn't really want to buy this shit. I was already kind of over that stage. I mean, I know we all, you know, we all, we all delved in that little bit. Just buying dumb shit when we were little quacks. But who knows, maybe our mommy's credit card or something. Or our own. You know, maybe we got a debit card, we're like... 15 years old or some shit. Bought a couple Diablo items. Who knows? You know, we've all been there. But I am I am this this must have been after those days, even because I wasn't gonna buy a fucking Enigma. I wasn't even gonna take that shit as a handout. This even before I made the video. But this is back when Little Ice Boy wasn't even making the videos. But yeah, so this is kind of this is kind of a struggle. And as you can see, when you run out of mana. It's really annoying how your mana shield just goes away when you run out of mana. I wish that weren't the case. You know, just keep it up and just have it suck any mana away that you have as you get hit. 
you know, I wish that's something that I think should be fixed. I feel like uh, that's the case. Didn't they fix that in pod or PD2 or something? Well, your mana shield stays up its duration regardless. But you can maybe, I don't know if you can uncast it. That would be a good thing as well, of course. If you can uncast it for whatever reason if you wanted to. But yeah, she does, if you start getting mana burn and all that, she does suckle a lot of mana. Uh, she doesn't suckle nearly as much as, say, uh, the 200 FCR uh, sorceress who doesn't have insight at her arsenal. It's basically you're forced uh, for the uh, infinity to be on your mercenary in that, in that scenario. So you don't have the luxury of insight. Of course, I wanted to try a metal grid uh, amulet on and make a few uh, insight golems. But experimental video maybe in the future. But yeah, the other one suckles a lot. So if you're not a fan of suckling, you might not want to have the uh, 200 FCR one. Hey, yeah. Hell uh, yeah, look at this. Players 8. Does a pretty damn good job. Yeah, if you're playing botnet though, like I said, you're not really going players eight. And if you are with your you're with a bunch of your dogs. And most likely half of them are gonna be carrying their own weight. Even those guys, look at that. Even those guys. She survived. Pop that shit all around her. Okay, so here's Bell. Yeah, so on botnet. It seems to me this might be a character you want to strive for, dog. It's fast as a toad. But what do you guys think about that? I feel like I'd rather have this than a Javazan. Uh, and then over a Hammerdin. I just, the Hammerdins I just found to be so boring. There's like so little variety to them. At least when you're this, you can static and shit. You got all your little precast things and you teleport around pretty fast and, it, and it's quick you know it's quick you see that for the hammer and you got to wait for the damn hammers to start circulating and all that so yeah you get close to them you static field like this don't be a dumbass there we have it gonna make a little safety tp right there See, it looks like my health has gone a little bit, so I'm going to stay back. Look at that. Look at, all, look, at, look at the range that it has. See, that's not half bad, Raptor. That ain't half bad. Is it? I don't think that's half bad, Raptor. See how fast you can kill Bal. As you guys saw how fast she could kill Satan. Static field at safe distance. You gotta get up close and personal and shit though is the thing. Oh, and Bell has some mana drain abilities about him. <sighs> but that's fine. That's fine. I'm still gonna swat that tail. Wow. Oh my god, he's thick. Holy. Oh. oh my god, he's thick. Are you kidding me? I don't remember it being this hard. Holy blood cold. Come on, dog. Wow. That was annoying. That was more annoying than Ice Toad right there. Holy shit. Alright, but as mentioned... My God, I never want to do that again. As mentioned, uh, she's good for the pit. He, yeah. She's good for some pit and all that. But I mean, you get style points. You're wielding this scythe, you know? Look at that. You get style points for that. You got the cool aura and all that. As mentioned in my live stream, it's really kind of like an independent vamen. Not that we find that appealing, but it's just, it's something different for the sorceress, for D2. You know, you're just not using the basic, uh, you're not using just the basic, like, shield and, shield and orb combo thing going on. Or shield and flail combo. 
I mean, so you get style points for that. But here's the pit. Hell yeah, look at this. Of course, you could hunt uh, the elites in here. Still players 8, of course. But players, why don't you just obliterate? These you might want to skip because they're just annoying. They have a lot of light res. You can still kill them. Uh, on players one, they're quite easy, but on players eight, it's just kind of annoying. So you could skip them, save a little bit of time, maybe. Oh, nice Corona! Wait, was that a boss? Yes. But of course, there is the Warcry Barbarian or the Pit Zerker or whatnot. We uh, teleport around, kill the bosses, uh, item find the corpse. So you, you you kind of have that to compete with. But in regards to like more of an all-around character, you know, I think this is this is pretty high up there, man. This is pretty high up there, dog, on the list. Just an all-around character. Obviously, you, you can't do Ubers. Um, Trav is gonna be Trav is gonna be a real pain in the toad. So I wouldn't I wouldn't really want to try Trav. She'd, she'd get her little tail swatted. But I could show you guys it anyway. And that's how I end the video, in fact. Do the travel and all that. But yeah, appreciate you guys supporting the Ice Toad. If you want to support, uh, click the links in the description below. Patreon. Appreciate my patrons. Thank you guys. Really adds up. And I, I'm cheap as a little slimy frog. So uh, money goes a long way. All right. Well, them shekels, them shiny, nice, them shiny, nice little shekels go a long way. Uh, what else? There's the dono. There, you can buy the cookbook. You can buy the little... Buy a coffee, turns me into a dick mug, a couple of shirts. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Links in the description below. So I'm going to, I plan on streaming the ladder reset some. I still don't know. I, I'm actually reconsidering a bit. Like, do I want to make a sorceress? Although after all these, after all these videos of the sorceress, I actually kind of am sick of it. So maybe Necromancer, back to Necro. Yeah, Necro sounds fun. But after playing, like, these sorcerers are cool, man. They're fast. And it kind of makes me want to strive for them. But, of course, I'd never even find basically a high rune. So, I'm going to be stuck uh, just as a blizzard sort for, like, the entire season. Uh, which I don't really care much for. So, I probably don't want to enter this with damn damage cast on me. I guess I'll cut her some slack. But, she's probably going to get her ass kicked here. I don't know... How often is the case where uh, they have mana burn? I guess I'll find out. Usually not paying much attention to that. I'll kill them with something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Look at this. Hell yeah. Okay, it's doable. It's doable for show. Kill them all. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's check out that some more charm. Hey, yeah, all right. Appreciate you guys. Links in the description below if you want to become a patron. To those who support the Ice Boy, may the Creator bless you and keep you. May your finances be blessed. May your youth be renewed like that of the eagle. And may you have many wives. Peace with you.